I have been using Blender for about five years, give or take. And the new update, uh, it's the uh, one over here. I have not made this train image. It was made by artist Henry Shevenka, and I will uh, link him in the description below. So, I have notice a few changes whenever it came to 2.8 that might trip up some inexperienced users and they might uh, have a hard time uh, with some of them. I'll start with the OpenGL requirement and as you can see this is my HD graphics control panel uh, the, the current This is how it reports time, which I don't know why it doesn't say the, the current time. Mm, oh well. My driver version, my my operating system, my memory, and other stuff like that. Most of it's not all of that important. My lousy processor, my slow processor speed. Now what is important is this OpenGL version. This is the maximum version that your system can support. And my version is 4.5. With the Blender update 2.8, this maximum version must be at least 3.3 or higher. And I've seen a lot of people saying, I, I can't open this up because of um, open is like not supported it is not a software it has nothing to do with the software you are running it is a hardware support problem it's not a software it's a hardware there is nothing that you can update to make your system be able to run it Moving on to the rearranged menus, and I've, I've not seen anyone ask about this, but, but I'll cover it anyway. So whenever they change versions, they like to change things around uh, as, a, as they're community driven and they like to see how things work differently. So here on the left is the 2.79 edges menu. Here's the 2.8 edges menu. And you can notice how things have been kind of moved around a little bit. And some of the things aren't there anymore. Uh select boundary loop isn't there anymore and then a few of these is not there anymore but hey you know it's a cleaner menu and the faces menu is much more cleaner it's much smaller so it's easier to find everything that's there but it's again things have been rearranged and uh, the vertices menu things have been rearranged on this but not as bad there is again some things that's not there anymore but changes to be expected. The uh, unwrap menu is pretty much exactly the same. There, there's no change there except for now you have mark seam and clear seam which makes a whole lot of sense for being the UV uh, unwrap menu. And that's that for that one. 
Let's move on to display options. So in Blender 2.79, the display options are here. And to hide everything, except for what's going to be shown, you have the only render button, which has been replaced in 2.8, the only render button is now right here. This is now what's going to be rendered for this. Now for the other options on uh, 2.7, 2.8 has it in this. I usually don't like relationship lines because they're annoying and they get in the way. And if you want, you can have some more options in 2.8. So if you can't see any of your cameras or your lighting huh, empties, so if if it looks like this, you might want to check to make sure you have extras activated or up. So yep, that, that's that, and. Moving on to armatures, armature display options. So open up this one. So as you can see, the armature is being showed on top of the mesh. And I have a display that I'm, I'm trying to have a display as wire. This might be a glitch in 2.8. I really can't tell. But if you're in pose mode, the overlay system has an additional option that you can make bones transparent. And as you can see, now you can see the mesh over the bones and you can still see the bones through the mesh. And if I uncheck in front, you can't see them anymore except for these two, which is outside of the mesh. So pre-check that. I'm going to be using this mesh in a few minutes. So now let's um, go to user preferences changes and I'll minimize that minimize this and now I will open blender 2.79 user preferences blender 2.8 user preferences and now we can see a little bit of difference so this interface is option menu is kind of cluttered but as you can see you can see everything so here's what all is goes into display options and it's changed where it's at So, it is uh, kind of annoying that now we have to look for everything again. However, there's some good things, such as input is now changed so that it's input and key map versus just 
one location, now there's two locations, and this is the key map in Blender 2.79, and this is the key map for Blender 2.8. So, there's, it's easier to change now, and that, that's good. And if you're looking for some of the things, like, there, I've seen a question about um, the auto perspective. So now, it's an input. and view navigation and it's right here auto perspective I always like orbiting around selection so that's that now let's go Back to 2.79 and look at the background images because that's also been changed. And this is one of the very good changes. So as you can see, I have a background image and I have it set to all views. So from perspective, I'm just gonna go into orthographic mode. And as you can see that this image now appears. Right ortho, front ortho, top ortho. It appears in all of those. But if I just ever so slightly rotate it, the image disappears. I have to be in a perfect right, left, top, or I can be in the reverse ones of those, but I can't be in anything else. And I also can't be in perspective mode. Versus 2.8, I'll go into the front or through graphic mode, and I will let these appear. These are the the new um, empties. Uh, that can be images, empties as images. So I will go, this is front orthographic. This is side orthographic. Notice it's doing pretty much the same thing. Then I'll go seven, it has disappeared, but notice I'm only in orthographic mode. Now I will slightly rotate the view and notice they are still there very handy. I will go into perspective mode and they are still there. Now you no longer have to model in an orthographic mode if you are using a an image to model off of which is very handy indeed. Even if you are in orthographic mode, you can rotate it and you can still see your image. Now, these images are not the best to thing to show because they don't have any transparency. So I can shift A and then image. I want empty, I think. Empty. Uh, pose mode. Yeah, I'm in pose mode. Empty and then image. Then 
will appear here for some odd reason because I did not have it um, selected correctly. So that is another thing. I forgot to add it to this is whenever you have you can have a scene, you can have a collection selected as well as an object. So the last selected collection is one that objects are added to. Actions, instancing, viewport display. Anyway, so let's see, and the last thing I have is the changes to the timeline and keyframes. This is one of the changes that has caught me off guard, I must admit. So we will select the armature, go into pose mode, and then I will change the, the frame I'm currently on. And so let's say I want to change this pose, this, that, and we'll make him Mario jumping. So, but we're not sure about that right now. But we know that we want this location to be here. So we insert, insert keyframes for that location. And these pop back to where they were before I, I move them. Now, uh, this I don't like. The one thing I really don't like about this is if I press Control Z to undo, it undoes everything. Because in Blender's perspective, I did not even move those. So that's an undo that doesn't even function as an undo. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.